I said, um, I wonder if some other fellow long-term sufferers also feel weirdly calm. My theory is that we rehearse catastrophic what-if situations in our heads so often when a real crisis happens, we're quite good at it. Um, and I mean, I've suffered from anxiety for 25 years and I have noticed this. I go, I, go, I, I, I catastrophize about the most ridiculous things that would never happen. And then when a real crisis happens, I'm, I'm calm and mm -hmm. focused, I know exactly what to do. So I tweeted that and straight away it got about a thousand responses and almost all of them were like oh my god it's it's weird isn't it i never thought my broken brain would become a kind of superpower someone wrote and uh, um i've been a germaphobe and i've had anxiety all my life i've been extremely calm people are crashing and burning around me and i didn't have a second of fear so we've never had anything of this magnitude before this is not something that's almost like been able to be studied so actually, have you actually hit on a kind of new phenomenon because of the coronavirus? It feels like a little bit of a phenomenon that there's all of these millions of anxiety sufferers mm -hmm. walking around for 25 years. We've, we've um, haunted ourselves with catastrophic images of the future. And then suddenly a real crisis happens and it's like we've got a Darwinian advantage, particularly anxious <laughs> introverts, you know, because all the things that we really don't want to do, like go to parties and shake people's hands, suddenly all those things are like heroic. <laughs> so, but but in terms of someone that just has, as I suppose most people have at times, anxiety, which I appreciate is a completely different thing from an anxiety disorder. In most people, a level of anxiety is no bad thing, or is it a bad thing? Well, I think a little bit of anxiety is fine. I mean, one thing I, I always feel about anxiety is that it keeps people morally good. Mm -hmm. uh, I always think of anxiety as being a disease of moral goodness because, mm -hmm. you know, a, a lot of people's anxieties are about not wanting to do the wrong thing, not wanting to hurt people's feelings, being scrupulous. But when it starts to affect the quality of your life, um, then it's not a good thing. But those people whose lives have been, I mean, I'm not saying everybody, but I think a large number of anxiety sufferers whose lives have been really, you know, negatively impacted, like this is, this is our time, this is, this is what we've been preparing for. You also um, think that although you are, there you are, holed up in upstate New York, but you also think that connection is very important at a time like this. I think connection is incredibly important and I think, connection on social media, on Twitter. I think if Twitter can, if we can teach ourselves on Twitter to for a little while stop giving people little slaps for doing something slightly bad and instead think of Twitter as a nice place to visit and find connection, it's going to really help people's mental health in their months ahead. So what does uh, John Ronson do, this self-confessed introvert, when this is all over and you move from upstate New York and re-enter into the big city. Do you think? Do you think this this will actually have a lasting impact on your mental health? Do you think? I mean, presumably you don't know that. Well, I, I mean, I think people like me, people with my disorders, we're the ones who are going to be okay. People with anxiety disorders who've spent their lives uh, catastrophizing, worrying about the future. We suddenly find ourselves in a situation like this where we find that we're actually really capable. Mm -hmm. uh, we mm -hmm. can handle it. We're calm, we're focused. And as introverts, self-isolating is no big deal. Uh, so, so I actually think, you know, we're going to be fine. The people I'm more worried about mm -hmm. are, are extroverts, the people who aren't used to this kind of situation. And, and for them, I think uh, being productive, connecting with people in a kind-hearted way online, um, finding ways to occupy your mind, I think all of those things will be very helpful. Do you think that uh, the, um, the fact of the coronavirus will have a permanent change in society or will we revert to being a bit nasty to each other? My, my feeling is that society has now changed forever and um, people are going to be working from home a lot more, people are going to be isolating a lot more and um, my hope is that we realise that kindness and the common good uh, are much more important values than polarisation and destroying somebody disproportionately for some joke that came out badly on Twitter. And, and my hope is that there'll be a little bit of a reset in the way that we treat our fellow humans.
John Rotson, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Kirsty.